Hi, I am Artis Kemos Prozen and today I'm going to answer some of your questions. So I posted a post a few days ago asking you, do you have any question? And I actually going to answer them right here, right now. So the first question was actually where I am from. So I am from France. I grew up outside Paris, in the suburbs of Paris, just a few minutes away. And I grew up there and probably left for my master when, I, I don't know, 2004, how old was I? I don't know <laughs> anymore. Uh, basically in my 20s, I lived in Dijon as well. And then after my master, I started working in different countries like Singapore, the Netherlands and back to France for a little bit and now I am in Ireland which brings me to the second question is what brought me to Ireland. So I am a food engineer and what brought me to Ireland originally is a job that I find um, as a project manager in a, a big company and then I moved to a startup company and then to another startup company and always in food, in proteins, of dietary fibers, and also uh, medical nutrition and infant uh, nutrition as well. And yeah, that's what brought me to Ireland now almost six years ago. The third question was, when did I start uh, painting? So uh, I don't remember painting when I was younger, but I remember drawing a lot and very i was quite good at art i think um but i stopped um in high school i didn't pursue um, um art so i had art uh in secondary school uh, which is until you're like 14 i think and then i went to high school and i didn't do any art and then i started my studies universities and then I started working and I was like, oh, I would like to make art, uh, but I just didn't have the time. I had very busy jobs, a lot of travelings and stuff. And I actually uh, bought a lot of art supply uh, when I was in Singapore. And I think my um, flatmate was kind of making fun of me because I was not making any art, but I kept buying, <laughs> buying art stuff. Um, and um, yeah, then I moved to the Netherlands, but there was the, um, the language barrier, so I was not uh, speaking Dutch. I had basic Dutch after a few years. I mean, I was doing my taxes in Dutch, so that was not too basic, but I couldn't really speak and follow a class in Dutch. So I didn't really look for art classes, but I really wanted to make art until I find um, two Americans who were living in Amsterdam, they had a studio and they did a sip and paint a class that was back in 2013 maybe, yeah I would say that and so I went there and I did my first acrylic painting which was this one Actually, the other day I was looking at it and I said, maybe I should make a new paint over it and make a new painting using this board. But, I mean, it was technically my first painting, so maybe not. Um, so yeah, I did that and I went back um, a couple of times to that sip and paint. So one of the two uh, ladies were also doing drawing class. So I went to drawing class, uh, which was very, very good. I really liked it. And she also did a class, an all painting class for uh, not a, a workshop, more like a workshop, an all painting workshop over two days. So we did a study the first day and we did the final painting the second day and I still have it and this is this painting that I made. Um, so that's actually my first oil painting. I was looking for the study which was basically um, this size but I cannot find it. I guess I got lost with all my moving. So yeah, so that's basically, this was my first acrylic painting. 
and this was my first oil painting basically and then a few weeks after i did that painting actually i was moving um from the netherlands so i was leaving the netherlands and i moved to um a little town um, in the east of france for two years and that. there i um went to classes every thursdays or almost every thursdays i was going just to paint um didn't learn any technique but i learned how to you know just put paint on the canva and not overthinking and just paint 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 and that i think gave me confidence that i could actually paint uh, because i think what was a block before is that i really wanted to but i was like i i don't know if i can and i just went there and we did a small painting in an hour and i was like oh that's actually you know if i can make that in in an hour uh maybe i can do better uh amazing stuff and uh, and then i moved to ireland and after i think a year in ireland i took this class um online class uh from motion and farewell who really taught me the technique uh, which I had no clue before and uh, that was very useful and from then I started painting more and more and more and more um, and moving more into uh, seascapes and landscapes uh, which was what really drove me uh, more which actually led me to the next question which is why do I mostly paint landscape and seascape um, I think it's because it's what I'm more drawn to i go on walks i look at nature i like to be you know in a quiet environment uh, surrounded by the sound of nature waves and birds and wind in the leaves and stuff like that and, and when i come back to the studio i really want to take all of this and transfer it to to, to the canva but it's also nature is very relaxing to me and when i paint i want to I feel that feeling of calm and serenity, but also, you know, it's also the feeling that I had when I was on this walk, when I was at this place, that I just put back uh, in my in my painting. So I paint from my photograph, um, or I paint on location as well. Um, another question that I had is, where can I see your work? Um, so you can see my work. I am at Marion Square in, in, in Dublin, city centre, on Sundays. So we have the Marion Art Exhibition along the Willings. So if the weather is good and if I don't have any other event, I'm usually there from, uh, let's say, 9.30 to 4.30. Um, but check on my page. I usually say on my page on Instagram or Facebook if I will be there the next Sunday. So just have a look to be sure or just send me a message. Can I meet you? And especially if you want to see a specific piece, um, just ask me so that I have this piece when I go there. Uh, so that's where you can see me. I also have some time um, pop-up exhibition, so solo exhibition at the Red Stable. My next exhibition will be actually at Malahide Castle between the 12th and the 14th of August. So you can see me exhibiting some of my paintings and prints and also uh, fabrics. And I will also um, be in the, um, the Berkeley Gallery in Thomastown and I will be in uh, the Signal Art Center in Bray in August. <clears throat> I have uh, some paintings there in August and um, if you want also, I am starting to do that, is that you can make an appointment with me to come and see a painting here uh, where I have my studio uh, in Balbuigan and you can also obviously make a video call um, uh, appointment with me where I can show you a painting and we can discuss the painting and your space uh, to be sure that it will fit and that it's the right painting 
for you so that you can also send me a message or go to my website to book a call with me uh, a video call so that we can you can see the painting so anyway thank you for your question um don't hesitate anytime to ask me a question um anything and i will make another q a uh, video like this uh thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye bye